The indigenous campout takes place every April, but this time, for the first time in five years, their voices were heard. President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva announcing the creation of six new indigenous reserves, the first since 2018. I don't want to leave any indigenous lands without being demarcated. It's a promise I made to you during my campaign. It's a move that also reverses the policy of his far-right predecessor, Jair Bolsonaro. During his four-year term, Bolsonaro made a point of saying he would not demarcate a single centimeter of indigenous lands. He not only shelved hundreds of claims, but also pushed for legislation, opening protected territories to miners, loggers and farmers. We can feel the change. This government has a policy to protect our rights and the environment. It will face difficulties achieving this goal, but at least the intentions are there and our hopes are high. Since he took office in January, Lula da Silva has taken action to expel 20,000 illegal miners from the Yanomami territory. Brazil's largest indigenous reserve is the size of Portugal, but had been left unprotected from exploitation by the invaders. As a result, rivers were polluted with mercury, leaving entire villages without water to drink or fish to eat. Hundreds of villagers, suffering from malnutrition and other illnesses, had to be evacuated to hospitals in the nearest city, not knowing when or if it will be safe to return to their homes. Indigenous leaders we've been talking to here say President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva has accomplished much defending their rights and the environment during the first four months of his term. But they also say he will be facing enormous challenges during the next four years. Bolsonaro dismantled government agencies in charge of protecting the indigenous population and the environment. Strengthening them will take time and money. Lula da Silva will also have to deal with the powerful farm lobby, which also wants to expand into new territories in a country that is strongly dependent on agricultural exports. For Brazil's president, striking a balance between the interests of conservation and development, now a top priority. Monica Yanakiev, Al Jazeera, Brasilia.